Okay guys, to continue along with the Free Sky Trans Plus playlist, it is now time to bind our receivers. If you're watching this video, I assume you have the Free Sky XSR of all the different ones I'm showing you how to bind. To bind it, we need to uh, apply power to it. The best way to do that, or the easiest way to do that, is just to go ahead and connect it to your fly controller. The only two wires that you need is just power and ground. If you want, you can go ahead and connect your uh, telemetry and SBUS or PPM wire. Uh, but like I said, right now all we need is power and ground. Some fly controllers can power the receiver with only the USB cable attached. Some fly controllers don't have that feature. In that case, you would have to uh, plug in a LiPo battery to give it power. This fly controller specifically can give the receiver power through the USB. So I will plug in the USB and we see the blinking red light, it's getting power. Uh, but we, we don't want power right now, so go ahead and disconnect it. And I'll kind of put this to the side for now. Now let's go to the Tyrannus. Welcome to OpenTX. We want to press the menu button to go to our models, choose the model that you want uh, the receiver to be bound to. Press the page button once. You can scroll all the way down or just scroll up to go to the bottom of the page. Now uh, for the XSR you need to be in D16 mode. Also because uh, if you're using the PPM wire then you would want channels 1 to 8. Uh, I don't see a point in using PPM when you also have SBUS so I would use the white SBUS wire to send your channel uh, signals through and in that case you would choose 1 to 16 then go down uh, you need to choose a receiver number if you press the uh, enter button and then press it again so say we have number 2 then it did not give me the warning message meaning that that channel or receiver number is free if I were to choose one that was already taken like let's say number one it's going to say model ID already used so I can't use that one you can still bind it on that receiver number but it's going to override another receiver that you may have on another multi rotor uh, so that's why I say find a channel that's not being used yet now we want to press the bind or go over to the bind button press the enter button and it's going to chirp now if you look at your receiver you will find this little black button. This is your failsafe button. You need to hold that button down and then apply power to it. So now I will take my USB cable. I won't plug it in all the way. I'm just going to line it up. With it lined up, I will now hold down the failsafe button and now apply power. Now you see, <clears throat> now you will see a solid green light and a blinking red light. At that point, you can release the button and now disconnect the power. Go back to your Tyrannus, press enter once to make it stop chirp, uh, chirping. You can exit all the way back to the main menu, but don't turn it off, leave it turned on. Now reapply power and now we get the solid green light. If you have the solid green light you are now done and you did it perfect uh, it's now properly bound. If you are getting a solid green light and a solid red light then that means that the firmwares are conflicting with one another between the receiver and the transmitter. And what I mean by that is I don't mean the firmware numbers or version numbers anything like that what I mean is there is a international firmware version and then there is also a EU version. If you have the solid green and solid red light then that means one has one and one has the other. You need to change one or the other so that they both have either the international firmware or they both have the EU firmware. Once you do that then you can rebind it and you will get the solid green light. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, if you just randomly found this video and you want to check out the Tyrannus playlist, I will leave a link for you in the description below. Uh, so check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.